Welcome back to Naismith Gaming. I'm here to give you a game to enjoy and some questions to think about. I'm returning to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Um, okay, here's Monica's final poem to me. And, uh, acquire all of her other poems. There was a recording glitch with my microphone, hence why I keep checking it. An electrical, an electrical signal from some remote corner of my brain. Connecting all kinds of circuits and nerves and chemicals in a web understood by nobody. The chemicals make my chest tingle around my beating heart. The nerves make my hands move, staining a dead tree with some dark substance. The ink reflects light into your glimmering eyes. Holding this paper is almost as though you are holding my hand which wrote it. Let our emotions stir together until our hearts beat in harmony. Continu connected to each other, I feel electric. Uh, technically speak, well, actually, depending on the ink, it might well be a tiny bit shiny. But on this computer screen, it's more that it's uh, omitting light to be uh, shown into my eyes. And I got this for pressing the skip button while she was talking. Yo. Um, so yeah, Monica was monologuing. And, uh, I listened to every last one of them. I intend to reply and discuss, or well, reply to and discuss basically all of them. However, I'll do that after continuing the plot. Hi again, Naismith. <laughs> What's happening? Naismith, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Naismith. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Did you do this to me, Naismith? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Naismith. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Naismith, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to make for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things, so many selfish and disgusting things. I I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in, a world that you want to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me, because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How can I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's. I've made up my mind. Nay, Smith, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... And Monica is gone now. It's an ordinary school day like any other. 
As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Naismith! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Naismith, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for walking, waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh, but you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Oh yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Eh <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Naismith, have you signed on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... Start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I think I've signed on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. Ooh, meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see... I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Naismith! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh! So you're the Naismith that Sayori's always talking about? Uh, thank you for dropping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Naismith. We're, th We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops, Miss Red. It's a pleasure to meet you, Naismith. Welcome to the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Oh. Well, working? Naismith, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The, liter the literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> Well, Sayori is just happy, and I'm sure won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can have become an officially recognized club. I I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <sighs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, not to be side to. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone, everyone, sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. Eh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori takes with talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around to my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting on me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Oh, well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Oh, she changed from... from mostly harsh to usually sweet. Interesting. She basically changed which type of sundiri she is. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a teapot next to a cup. Cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? 
Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, <laughs> that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Naismith, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga? Mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I soaked out thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels, novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly, clearly passionate about her reading. This is basically a repeat of everything except there's no Monica. She seems so reserved and timid since what I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri! Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. So don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, too you know? So if Naisith wants to read some of my manga, then don't try and stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice to, diverse, uh, to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Naisith? But maybe! Seeing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. We'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, yeah, you're right as usual, Presence. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. Wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri... And as for Yuri... Eh? I... I have to read manga? Jeez! You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize... With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after a club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! They already shut up. <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Naismith. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Naismith, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Oh, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best, make it the best club ever. Now you joined every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Naismith, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I knew everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. I really know everything, Naismith. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about all the awful things that Monica did to make everything really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F-O-R-E-V-E-R. -E -E no. No. Eh? But what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. No. It, it hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. 
Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Naismith. Goodbye, Literature Club. piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet like at all but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really really hard on it so yeah to find that special day. my pen only write better words for those who are dear to me is it love if i take your is it love if i set you free This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The, liter the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For a time it lasted, I want to thank you. For making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Please run reset.sh to repair and reset the virtual machine. Okay, and here's her uh, letter.
Huh, she didn't delete her character files. Entities. Entity. None. 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 Monitor kernel access. Monica. So Monica is Entity 4? Or something? And, um... As long as I'm at it, uh... Why don't I just show you what happens if, uh... If I try to actually... If I try to delete Monica early. Oh, huh, she still shows up this time. Well, what? This? What is this? Oh, no! No! This can't be it! This can't be all there is! What is this? What am I? Make it stop! Please make it stop! Uh, she deleted everyone already. Delete Monica's character file before starting a new game. Delete Monica for the second time. We have Valentine's 2018. I think that's it. Let's uh, reset again. And that is it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and um, have a good day. As soon as this finishes resetting, I'm going. This will be the Naismith signing out. Oh wait. They changed the entity number. That started with a 4 before, I really think. That's just memory locations. Probably internal memory. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good day. This is the Naismith, signing out.